Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience here in my Minecraft single player world. I definitely like the larger chunk rendering distance. That is definitely, yep, yep, that's definitely what I want right there. Ooh, baby, welcome back, welcome back. Last episode, we finished this guy well we didn't quite finish it but we finished uh, making it functional that is and i am nearly done with it i am so close to being done with this and i am incredibly incredibly happy because if we'll just take a peek all down here we have not too much has changed like i still need to decorate this uh, but we have two functional uh, pistons or, or sets of farms over here I should say this is going to be awesome and I believe it or not uh, this is not uh, what we have so far um, I have actually AFK here for a lot obviously I need to put in lights and stuff here but I have AF AFK here I've been away from my keyboard here uh, and for about, I want to say, 9 to 12 hours been AFK, and it filled this up. It backed it up all the way back there, and we have tons and tons of pumpkins and melons. My goodness, you don't even know. We're actually going to go this way, even though there's no button here. You don't know how many pumpkins and melons we got, because... They're not in here. They're supposed to be in here. They're in here. They're in all of these shulker boxes. Every single one of these boxes is full to the brim of pumpkins. Every single one that says pumpkin is absolutely full. Except for this one. That one's not that full. All of these, they're, they're melons. But they're not melon slices. They're full melons. Oh, <laughs> yes. All of them. All of them, look at that, except for this one. This one, it's only 18. Or that one, yeah, look at that. We have, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten full chests, which is five full double chests and a little bit more of pumpkins and one, two, like two and a half double chests full of melons. We are going to be trading that as soon as we can right now. But as for this episode, I want to talk about a couple special things because it is episode 150. I want to do something a little bit special here. Um, <clears throat> first of all, the first thing I want to do is I want to go down here and I want to clean all of it up. I want to make sure we have some storage. I want to make sure we have just some decorative stuff down there, you know, something nice and easy. The next thing I want to do is I want to take all of those pumpkins and melons and I want to trade them in our villager trading center. And I also need to go farm up maybe some wheat or some carrots and potatoes because those are a little bit easier uh, to farm up. And we need to get those uh, for trading as well. We are going to get some emeralds. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, but there is one more thing that I kind of want to do. Actually, a couple more things because I do want to. Hello, can you render in, please? <clears throat> Please, thank you. Okay, uh, because this is episode 150, it is special, and uh, I want you guys to have a world download today. So that's the goal for today. Hopefully, it should be in the description by the time this video is out. Uh, but in part of doing that, I want to pretty up this area a little bit. I want to add some trees, some shrubbery, some greenery, just some more detail over here, because right now, it's kind of flat. It's kind of boring. Like, I love the farms over here. I love how these look, but it's just boring. Uh, this is exciting over here. I mean, we got the mountain over here, but we've got some trees. We've got some stuff to give your uh, eyes something to look at. Here, it's just dirt. So we're going to try to change that, and I want to get a scarecrow over there, too, because I feel like that could be really fun. Uh, another change you're going to see, or at least I'm going to try out for a little bit, um... This UI, this UI is huge. It used to be really small, not this small, but it used to be like this. This is how I'm used to it. Uh, it's kind of sort of up to you guys. I kind of like doing it this way, uh, but I was just kind of experimenting a little bit. And now I see that, I don't know, we might, 
I'm not a big fan of these big icons, but anyway, that that's all I have for yesterday. Uh, not today, not today. Uh, I also tore down this guy right here. This is where my experimental um, pumpkin and melon farm was, but it's in there now. So those are the things that I have in store for today. I also want to uh, go up here and just kind of clean up a little bit, just clean up this world for you guys, uh, just so that you guys can have a nice pretty world to, to download and to walk around and explore and all that good stuff. Um, and I want to take all of these down too, just to make it pretty and not just randomly here. So anyway, we are going to get to that. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy me doing that and we will see where we are at for my Minecraft experience episode 150. Welcome back everybody. I did a lot of work that I'm really, really happy about. Oh. Now, as you can see, first thing that stands out to you, unfortunately, I did not get this area cleaned up as much as I wanted it to be, um, but I will do that off camera. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna have a world download when this video is released. So go ahead, look at the description or wherever I would put that uh, there. So. All I need to do here is I want to add like a little water area and some flowers and some more decorative stuff over here. As you can see, I've added in some big oak trees, which I am quite in love with. I think if we take a look on up here, they do look fairly good. And it just makes this little area around the uh, around the wheat farm just feel a little bit more. I don't know how to explain it um, a little bit more just lived in kind of more natural. I really, really like it. I love the way these trees look I want to experiment with different types of trees because I don't want it just to be dark oak all around I feel like that would look kind of awkward and forced a little bit too much 
So I don't know, we will see about that. And I have all of my stuff here. In fact, I should make a chest and put that here. But anyway, anyway, uh, that's not the point. Over here we have our farms and stuff. Didn't really do too much with that. Um, what I want, what else did I do? What else did I do? Oh, oh, let's do this. Let's go over here because I actually did something I didn't know I would do. Um, this rabbit farm, let me explain to you what happened. Uh, in 1.9, I actually, I made this in 1.8 and the rabbits continued continue to die. They actually still do die because they jump off of cliffs and they kill themselves, which is really ridiculous. But I have this secret hidden underground rabbit farm right here. And um, this was broken in 1.9 because of the fact that rabbits are smaller. And I think, why else was it broken? Oh, well, they changed rabbits so that they dropped more, but they were smaller. So that was kind of concerning. So uh, this little, I don't know what you call it, uh, machine right here didn't work because they would just escape the bottom. Even full grown adults can escape a half slab worth of space. So what I did was I kind of just forgot about this, but in that little clip you saw, I actually fixed this and I need to get all of these rabbits into here. I'm breeding them out here so that I can get them into here so that I can breed them and go like this because this is my fix. I've dropped down a block right here. We've put a, a trap door. Close it when these guys are breeding so that the babies don't get out. Once they're full grown adult, they can't escape that little gap right there. And I can kill them. They'll go into the item uh, elevator right here, which we fixed this in. Uh, we didn't fix it in the video, but in the 1.11 video, I attempted to fix it. And I actually did fix it with the observer block. And that is all well and good. Really happy about that. So we just need to breed up these rabbits and get Get them in these little chambers so that I can continue to uh, hello so that I can continue to feed off of them because they did buff the amount of meat and stuff that they get off of them I'm, I would like to spend a little bit more time over here oh you are gonna ruin my day you're gonna ruin my day get out of there bunny rabbit get out of there and we're off we're off go Whew, made it okay Next thing I did, actually the first thing I did was I actually completed the pumpkin and melon farmer kind of working backwards here. Let's go like that. Thank you. We actually completed, hello, pumpkin and melon farm right over here. Come on. Let's go. Oh, the arrow's doing that weird thing again. Okay. Uh, pumpkin and melon farm. If we head on over here, I have completed it. We'll drop down here. Go through the little window here. Ah. Ha ha. Down we go. And bam, Whew. got some bookshelves. We've got some, some note blocks right here. <laughs> We've got a jukebox here with a uh, armor stand with a pumpkin on it. We've got some paintings right here. I love the way the paintings look. We actually have a map right here. We have an ender chest, which, ooh, we took down the beacon and I'll show you that later. Some flowers on the side. I like that. We completed both of those sides. Got the flowers over here, which looks really nice. I want to make you big. There we go. Down here we have more flowers and stuff. We have another full chest of melons just because this thing is absolutely insane. Oh, and in the drop down and right here you can see we have um we have a green clay mixed with orange clay. Ow, ow. We have green and orange clay right there for the uh, drop down and the tunnel back up. But what else did I do? I did a little bit more than I was uh, really planning on to doing because I just, I just went, I just went, I couldn't stop. And every time I came over to this area, I said, or I recognized that there were a lot of mobs. So I wanted a pathway and I wanted to light up the pathway. So I tried something. What do you think? What do you think? We got rid of the, the end uh, stuff, the, what do you call them? The, uh, the purple plants. And this is, um, this is something. This is something. What do you think about that? It really goes with the cold feeling. I love the packed ice and the snow. Not sure how I feel about the prismarine. Don't know about that. What I was thinking is either we stick with the prismarine, we can stick with that, um, or we could go with snow and the packed ice because I love the way the snow and the packed ice looks. And I was thinking this doesn't look all that bad. 
to be completely honest with you. And what might even be better than that is I just thought of this just now. Um, this stone slab, these stone slabs right here uh, could be really, really nice for that cold atmosphere. I don't know. I don't know. We're experimenting with it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section up below because I definitely want to get a pathway, at least a theme of a pathway worked out for this upper area here. Also, you're going to notice what happened to the crafting table here. Well, I, I fixed, actually, I fixed this block swapper right here. It was broken before. Now I got it all fixed. And it's awfully laggy for some reason. I don't know why it's so laggy, but that is that. The next thing we did is we traded, as you saw, we traded with the villagers. And we got that. We didn't get the iron. The iron is just from the iron farm uh, and all that stuff. We got this. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks, stacks of blocks of emerald, plus this already. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a full double chest full and then some of emerald blocks or emerald uh, emeralds. We need to start some villagers. We need to start some trading because that is going to be epic. But as far as today, as, f as for today, that's all I really have for you beautiful people. Um, also note about this. I didn't think about this until just now. This These things melt snow. That sucks. So we can't light up a path unless we have snow. Yeah, well, I put snow here for sure. And it's melting it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I like the snow. I really, really like the snow. Maybe we'll just have to have it dark in here. Not entirely sure. But I'm sorry for the short episode. But we've got so much done in this episode. Plus, it's episode 150. You guys got a world download. And I got a lot of progress done. Next episode, I could do so many different things. I want to try out some stuff. I want to finish some things. Oh, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Hopefully you guys enjoy the world. Download it. Build some stuff with me. Go check out some pathways. Go check out all of my world, all of my land here. Explore. Have fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next absolutely beautiful Minecraft morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always... Stay beautiful.